Welcome to Instant Deck Techs. The aim of this series is to give you a short, concise guide on how to build a certain deck. It won't cover every card, but we'll go through all the categories and go over the types of cards needed to make the deck work. Any card mentioned will be down in the description below. The commander of this deck is Nerinial Urborg Tyrant. It is 3 white, blue black for a 3 6 legendary creature zombie wizard. It has hexproof from artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. When Nerinial enters the battlefield, create a tap 2 2 black zombie creature token for each creature that died this turn. When it dies, you may pay 1. When you do, destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. We're going to be building this deck to be a board wipe tribal deck with a zombie sub theme. Some of the planeswalkers we'll be recommending can be a little pricey, so those can be replaced with some more zombie tribal cards. I'll go over those when they come up. The aim of this deck is to abuse board wipes to get ahead of our opponents. We're going to be playing effects that will break the symmetry of a board wipe to get us ahead. As a quick note at the start, sack effects will allow us to wipe the board whenever we want to, by allowing us to control when Nevrinyal will die. That being said, we're not running any sack effects just for the ability to sacrifice a creature. They need to serve another purpose, so look out for them in each of the categories listed. Although Nevrinyal himself is a board wipe, we still need to run more to make sure we can fully control the board. I would recommend running at least 8, the lower CMC the better. There are also plenty of budget options at higher mana, so run the best ones that you have available to you. We want to keep the board clear as much as possible. The Renewal's ability to create an instant board state after a board wipe is key to the deck. By playing effects that bring him back when he dies, we can get around to having to recast him each time, and we also get to make an army of zombies all in one go. Special mention to Gift of Immortality and Cauldron of Souls, as they are repeatable and they are great in the deck. You can also play blink effects that'll do a similar thing, however make sure the effect brings them back at the end of turn and not straight away, to make sure that the creatures survive the board wipe. Flicker effects that bring back creatures straight away can still be used to get additional tokens with Nevrinyal, however they won't save him from a board wipe. In total, you want at least 8 of these effects that bring Nevrinyal back after a board wipe. Before we move on from protection, I will mention these two cards as well. They'll be very good at protecting our board from a board wipe, but they are not budget options, and unlike the above, won't add anything to the board state when everything gets blown up. Run them if you have them, but they aren't necessary if you're building the deck from scratch. Because of all the board wipes, the ramp in this deck will be a little different. You can run Signets and Talismans, however, be aware they will get wiped by Nevrinyal if you end up using his board wipe ability. However, that being said, Black Market, Revel in Riches, and Pitiless Plunderer are all amazing with all the other board wipes we'll be running. Ashnod's Altar can ramp us, and also is a sack outlet for Nevrinyal. I would also want to run some ramp that fetches lands from the deck. I would consider splitting your ramp, so you have between 4 and 6 of the previous section, and then 4 of the below. These all bring lands out of the deck, which won't be hit by Nevrinyal's board wipe. Our card draw in this deck will also be linked to things dying. There are spells that draw cards when things die. There are also spells which kill things to let us draw cards. And there are card draw spells that care about the zombie tokens that Nevrinyal will make. With the board clear, we should also have very little issue staying the Monarch. You want to run at least 8 bits of card draw, but in this type of deck you can run more if they have another effect added to them. You can also run some drain effects to make our opponents lose life whenever we board wipe. I personally prefer the effects that stick around after a board wipe, such as Bastion of Remembrance. However, Masker Worm and Sir Conrad have interesting effects that make them worth considering. In a similar vein, you can run the Aristocrat creatures. However, remember these will all die with a board wipe, but they're still good budget options that can close out a game. And also, as we should be making a lot of zombie tokens, the Scarab God can come back after a board wipe and will drain our opponents on upkeep for each zombie we control, which should hopefully be a lot. If you don't feel like the board wipes are enough, you can run some additional interaction. I would only consider instant speed exile effects, or spells that counter instants and sorceries, as Nevrinyal has protection from pretty much everything else. The board wipes we will be playing will keep our opponent's creatures at bay. To take advantage of this, I would play a large variety of planeswalkers. We're generally looking for ones that fit into other categories, or give us utility. Planeswalkers such as these that keep our hand filled will be very good. There are also planeswalkers that will buff up our tokens, so we can swing through for the win. And obviously planeswalkers that can deal with threats, or wipe the board for us completely, will also be very good. In an ideal world, we want to run at least 8 planeswalkers, but you can go up to 16 if your budget allows it. Fortunately, a lot of the new planeswalkers are more reasonably priced than some of the older ones. With all the board wipes in this deck, Grave Betrayal becomes a win condition, and Rise of the Dark Realms will take all our opponent's good work throughout the game and turn it against them for the win. For some budget includes, there are still plenty of good options that we can put into the deck to make it tick. You can run Zombie Lords, or cool effects that interact with zombies, which are much kinder to the wallet. For some budget win cons, you can consider Approach of the Second Sun, or Throne of the God Pharaoh. Approach becomes much more consistent with all the board wipes we have, and Throne of the God Pharaoh will ping our opponents each time we make a board state. For utility lands, we can run a couple of cards that help with our game plan. There are lands that help us set creatures, deal with our opponent's graveyards, or can return cards back from our graveyard. I wouldn't run more than four of these, as we are a three colour deck. The rest of the mana base will be dependent on your budget. Look out for a video soon on this channel covering budget commander mana bases. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and let us know down below if there's any decks you would like to see a deck tech on.